wind is from the northwest, and tomorrow the weather will be clear. And now to top off this edition of the 6 o'clock news. My story. A lady in Philadelphia lost her dog. She went to the pound and found it. And when she got home, she found she had the wrong dog. <laughs> the woman, who didn't know one dog from another, was a vegetarian. Veterinarian! <laughs> explain what Ted just said. <laughs> Newsroom. Oh, hi, Rhoda. Uh, listen, I'm sorry I'm late. I got hung up here. Uh, did you think of a movie for us to see? Hmm. Uh, no, don't pick me up. I want to come home first. Yeah, I'll try to think of a movie. Bye-bye. Go see the new John Wayne picture. Is it good? They're all good. I never miss a one. Why is that, Lou? Do you uh, identify with John Wayne? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Wayne gets teed off at somebody, he hits up or shoots up. I get teed off at somebody, all I can do is write a memo. Like this one! <laughs> <laughs> say, Mary, you want to see a good movie? See Son of Flubber. You can't go wrong with a Disney movie. You know what my favorite Disney movie is? Snow White. Right. <laughs> hey, who can name all seven dwarfs? I can. Lou, how about you? Mur, how about you? Lou, you want to grab a hamburger? No, I don't eat meat. I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> achieve an inner peace. Ah. It'll just take me a minute to change. Uh, Rhoda, listen, aren't both legs supposed to be up when you're in the lotus position? Only fanatics use both legs. <laughs> hey, can you get that? Huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> She'll want to come along. And you'll let her. You know, she sounded kind of frantic. Sure. She's frantic. We might go to a movie without her. Oh. Hi, Phyllis. Something's come up, and I wondered if you could take care of Bess for a few days. Oh? What is it? Oh, well, it's Lars, Mary. He's contracted a case of varicella from one of his patients. Varicella? Yes. What's that? Lars is in the incubation period, and I'm immune. Well... Chicken pot! I really wouldn't ask you if it weren't an emergency, Mary. See, you said varicella, but it's plain old mundane chicken pocket. Uh, Rhoda, would you I'm please? I'm disease! Rhoda, please, Phil uh, Don't misunderstand this, but are you sure that Bess wants to stay with me? I mean, you know, she's not exactly crazy about me. Mary, it's time Bess found out that life is no bed of roses. <laughs> will be up in a second. These are the books. The books? Yeah, on creative child rearing. I know some people find it amusing that I insist on raising best from these, but the uh, men and women who wrote them are experts, and the people who laugh uh, aren't. Besides, Bess thinks these books show a lot of insight. Bess has read these? Yes, why does that surprise you? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, she's just a little girl. <laughs> Wrong. She's just a little girl? Uh, chapter six, the adult who says of a child she's just a little girl is clearly showing her ignorance. <laughs> well, what do I know? <laughs> now, she's, she's going to be here in a second, so I think I ought to prepare you for something. Oh, what? 
Well, it's just something she does when she's angry. I, I just ignore it. I wish you would, too. Well, what? Oh, uh, Mother's coming, no, Beth. No, no, Mother is not coming until Mary finds out what it is that Beth does. She wears my wig and makeup. <laughs> Mary will be doing the very best she can, Beth, and uh, we can't expect too much of her. Remember, mother and father love their Beth, and Mary likes her. <laughs> well, here we are. Uh, have you had dinner? Yes, Phyllis burned it. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? You didn't burn it. Well, no, but it's just that, you know, when you try to fix something and then it doesn't turn out right, it's kind of disappointing. Well, it doesn't bother Phyllis. Uh, do you always call your mother Phyllis? It's her name. <laughs> yeah, I know, but when I was a little girl, I, when I was a, a young person, I, uh, I always called my mother mother. I still do. I mean, I, I never even think of calling her Marge! <laughs> That's what it is. It's Marge. <laughs> Did Phyllis show you these books? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I haven't had a chance to really get into them yet. Yeah, well, I think you ought to. This isn't going particularly well so far, do you know? No. <laughs> uh, do you like having the, all that makeup on your face? Yes, do you? I think it, it makes you look awful. Uh, Beth? Uh, Beth, what are, you, what are you doing? Mary? Oh. <laughs> Beth forgot this. She likes her milk in it. Oh. <laughs> How's everything going so far? Don't answer, don't answer. I know everything's going great. Where is she? Well, uh, she's, uh... Locked herself in the bathroom, huh? Uh, well, yes. You said something without looking it up in the book first. Is, it, is that right? Well, yes. Uh, uh, what did you say? Uh, well, I told her I thought the makeup looked awful. And now you're trying to get her out of there. Yes, I, I am. Phyllis, could you help me, please? Of course I'm going to help you. Good. Here, chapter eight, right of privacy. <laughs> uh... Beth, I, I respect your right of privacy. I don't mind your locking the door. Uh, r really, I, I don't. And um, I am always eager to participate in a free and open discussion of whatever it is that's bothering you. <laughs> really? Really, I, I am. You might have to burn your washcloth. It's got gunk all over it. I recognize those quotes are right from the books, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, they are. Hey, uh, what do you say we forget the books and talk about what fun we can have tomorrow? How about that? I'm not working and you and I could go shopping. What for? Nothing. You don't have to buy anything when you shop. And that's kind of nice, because if you know you're not going to buy anything, then you don't have to wonder whether or not you can afford it.
do for you now, Aunt Mary? Uh, well, why don't you go get the mail? Okay. I'll get it. Hi, Aunt Rhoda. I'm going out to get the mail, but if you haven't had breakfast yet, set a place for yourself. Who is that nice, short little person? <laughs> That's my roomie. I can't believe it, Mary. What happened? Well, you know something? She's really just a nice little... <coughs> just a nice little girl. How? How what? Did you do it? I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, all right, maybe I did. Hey, Rhoda, have you ever wondered what kind of mother you'll be? I don't care, as long as it's not on win. <laughs> I'm going to be fantastic. Cruel, don't you think? I think you threatened her life. Oh. <laughs> Morning, all. Hi. Everything is beautiful. Guess what? Lars was in error when he thought he had varicella. Chicken pox. <laughs> all he has is rooster versaloba. Translation, please. Poison oak. <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. Oh, get your things, dear. Mother's here to take you home. I don't want to go home. What? I don't want to go home. Oh, oh, Phyllis, she doesn't mean that. As soon as you get her home, she's going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't force her, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we encourage her independence. If this is where she wants to be, this is where you want to be, is it, Beth? Uh, but Phyllis... No, 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 Mary, you don't understand. If Beth wants this, this is what you want, Beth. Well, it's obviously her wish to stay here, so uh, is it your wish, Beth? <laughs> then this is where she'll stay. <laughs> Listen, I just feel awful about this. About what? Well, ab about what Beth said. I mean, what I think is she meant she just wanted to stay with me for breakfast. Oh, no! She meant she wanted to stay with you forever. No, Phyllis, I'm sure she didn't. Oh, but she did, love. You're gay and young and unencumbered. Not like me, the old drudge who cooks her meals and mends her tattered little clothes. Of course she wants to stay with you. No, she but, doesn't. But she does, dear, for now. Maybe in a week or two she'll become bored. Not with you, of course. Maybe less than a week. Honestly, Phyllis, I, I don't know how you can be so calm about this. I mean, if my daughter... Should you ever be so fortunate as to become a wife, and then mother a child like my Bess. Trust me, Mary. Well, okay. I... But boy, Phyllis, I really... Trust do... me. <laughs> oh, uh, Phyllis, I, I hate to ask this. I, I, I mean, I've never had to ask the question. Ask anything. Uh, Phyllis, I've got a date tonight. Could you babysit? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ted Baxter with the 6 o'clock news. So far, so good. It was disclosed today that Deputy Defense Minister Nguyen Bonwat... Nguyen Bonwat. Bonwat. Met last week with Lanol... Nguyen Bonwat. ...at a top-secret enclave near Phnom, Phnom Penh. Whatever happened to good old days when they had wars in England? You find a way to mispronounce London. <laughs> oh, uh, Ted, Mr. Grant asked me to remind you it's Richard Milhouse Nixon, not Millhorse. <laughs> hi. Yes, hi. What are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd meet you and go home with you. Well, okay, darling, but I tell you, it's a very busy time, so you just sit over here and stay put, huh? Okay. Uh, Ted, this is Bess. Hi, Bess. Hi. You're the anchor man, aren't you? Nice child. <laughs> Mary, we got film on a Florida bank robbery. Put another lead on an idiot card for Ted. They're called cue cards, Lou. <laughs> I don't know why everyone...
one feels compelled to call cue cards idiot cards. We just have trouble thinking of you as a cue. Uh. <laughs> Mary, Mary. Have I got an appointment with you? Uh. Now, what are you doing there? I'm waiting. We're all waiting, kid. <laughs> Did you forget that lead on the uh, diet pills? Yeah, I got it. All right. I have an idea for you while you're waiting. Why don't you draw a picture? Oh, I can't draw anything but flowers. Well, then draw flowers. Oh, I'm so tired of drawing flowers. I've been drawing them since I was four. Ah, well, then look, a horse is easy. Say, Mary, that's a nice horsey. Thank you, Ted. Mary, where are the idiot cards? Uh, cue cards, Lou, please, cue cards. <laughs> Excuse me, Ted. Mary, would you please give those cue cards to this idiot? <laughs> What's that? A horsey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm waiting for Mary. Oh, you want something to do? Uh-huh. Uh, do you like to recite in school? Yeah. Okay, repeat after me. Nguyen Ban Wat. Nguyen Ban Wat. Nam Pen. Nam Pen. Richard Milhouse Nixon. <laughs> Richard Milhouse Nixon. Good. How'd you like to be the anchor kid? <laughs> <laughs> but for now, why don't you make some notes about the newsroom and write a composition for school, okay? Okay. Good girl. Mary, see if you can do this in five lines or less. What's your name, please? Lou. What do you do here? I'm the boss. Thank you. Mary! How's it going? Fine. Good. Yes, sir. Who's the kid? Oh, well, that's a kind of a long story. Not going to be a long story. I say, who's the kid? You say, Sally Jones. Who's the kid? This. That wasn't too long. <laughs> She's the uh, daughter of my downstairs neighbors, but now she's staying with me, and... Uh... You may not have noticed, <clears throat> but I never cuss when there are kids in the newsroom. Yes, I did. I noticed that, and I want you to know I appreciate your watching your language. I don't like to watch my language. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like having kids in the newsroom. I mean, I'd like to cuss right now because that kid's out there. But I can't cuss because that kid's out there. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? I, I think so. Uh, you'd like to cuss, is that it? Yes. <laughs> 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 well, then uh, I'll, I'll get her out of there. Good. I feel a cuss coming on. <laughs> this is too good to waste. <laughs> Send Ted Baxter in here. <laughs> Boy, I really like where you work, Mary. It sure is a lot of fun. What do we do tonight? Well, uh, we could uh, talk about what we're going to have for dinner. But what about TV dinners? We don't have any. But I could go out and get some, and that'll give you some time to figure out whatever's got you so uptight. That's a good idea. Okay. I'll, I'll walk slow. Bye. Okay, and charge it to my account. Okay. Hi, Aunt Rhoda. Hi, kid. Hey, Mary. I know you still have this thing to straighten out with Phyllis, but I've got a problem that's sort of pressing. I need $40 to pay a fine, or I'll get arrested. A traffic fine? No, I fed a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure you did, Rhoda. Really? It was such a nice day, I went to the zoo on my lunch hour. Anyway, you know I've, I've always been a sucker for buffaloes. You know those signs that say, don't feed the buffalo? Well, I fed the buffalo. And they really find you for that, if they catch you. Rhoda, what did you feed him? Low-fat prune yogurt. <laughs> Mary, that buffalo's gonna have some nice figure. Yeah. <laughs> can you spare the 40? Yeah, I think I can. What's happening with that dizzy Phyllis? Nothing. Oh, she's still trying to act as though nothing was wrong. And I, I just don't know how to get through to her. 
I'm gonna have to, though, aren't I? Yeah, it's either that or start saving up to put the kid through college. <laughs> In addition to paying for my buffalo... Ah, right, yes, I'll write your checks. I couldn't look at you, knowing how you feel and take money from you. <coughs> I'll pick it up later. <laughs> I brought Beth a little cabbage soup. No offense, I know you're a wonderful cook and you're feeding her well. Where is she? Uh, she's out buying TV dinners. Oh. Well, I just dropped by to see what time you wanted me to babysit tonight. Phyllis, sit down, will you? I was uh, just calling you to tell you that uh, I think everything is kind of crazy around here and it's going to get even crazier if you don't do something. What's your problem, Mary? <laughs> It's not my problem, Phyllis. It's yours. Bess. Oh, we've been all over that. It's just a phase Bess is in. Phyllis, you know what? I, I think Bess would want to come home if you'd just show her that you miss her. Why don't you come right out and say it, Mary? You think I'm a lousy mother. <sighs> no, I don't, Phyllis. I'll tell you exactly what I think. I think... I... What are you trying to say? I'm trying to think of a nice way to say that I think you're a lousy mother. <laughs> well, Miss Daughter Snatcher, <laughs> let me tell you something. I have read all the books, and I feel that I am... What are you doing wearing my love beads? Oh. Bess made these for me this morning. Can you beat that? She's made you the same beat she made for me. She loves you. She wants you to be her mother. Oh, Phyllis. <gasps> what is it? Bess. She saw me crying. Oh, oh, she'll hate me for being weak. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> oh, Phyllis, listen. <laughs> Look, you and I have been good friends for a long time, right? Well, not so good as you think. I mean, it's, it's because you come on so darn strong all the time. And, oh, well, I like you so much better when you come on weak. Oh. And, and if I feel this way, well, imagine how Bess felt when she saw you just now. <laughs> well, why imagine? I'm going to go get her. Uh, Mary? Yeah? Should I keep crying? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't hurt. Phyllis, do you know where Mary left the check for me? I got fined for feeding a buffalo. <laughs> There's no need to get that upset. It's all taken care of. You're an incredibly sympathetic person. Do you know that? Oh my goodness. Hey, I, I better get out of here. I think I'm depressing you. <laughs> if the zoo was half as sympathetic as you are, I, I wouldn't need the 40 bucks. Mary, whatever you do, don't mention the buffalo. <laughs> Phyllis? Bess went home. Home? Home. I just talked to her, and you know what she said? Well, it was just so touching. She looked up at me, and she said, uh-huh. She said, uh-huh. I don't know what that means, Mary. <laughs> oh, well, I, you had to be there. She said, uh-huh, after I said, Bess, are you here because you know your mother needs you? And she said, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Mary, this isn't much, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're going to make a wonderful mother. No. <laughs> oh. oh, isn't this silence lovely? And Mary, I love movies, but not the kitty show at 10 a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> but Bess wanted a treat, so how could we refuse? Yeah. Anyway, it was so nice seeing Phyllis and Bess laughing together. I see what you're getting at. Phyllis and Bess laughing together. The world has a nice big pink Mary Rich's bow around it. Is that it? Well... Yeah, something like that. Well, let me tell you something. That Phyllis is still a crazy lady. She's wacko. Do you know she's taking that kid to the movies again tonight? So? That's great. They're going to see Myra Breckenridge. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Anybody would know I'm kidding. It's not you. You, you believe everything. I knew you were Mary, you're the most gullible person I ever knew. I don't know how you live. I don't know how you live. I don't know how you live. I don't know you live. I don't know how you live. I don't know how you live. I don't know how you live. You are gullible. I am not. I was kidding you. You were not. Yes, I was. mother you'll be? I don't care. As long as it's not on win. <laughs> you know, I've, I've always wondered, and you know what? I think I'm going to be fantastic. Roll, don't you think? I think you threatened her life. Oh. <laughs> Morning, all. Hi. Everything is beautiful. Guess what? Lars was in error when he thought he had varicella. Chicken pox. All he has is Rusta Versalova. Translation, please. Poison oak. <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. Oh, get your things, dear. Mother's here to take you home. I don't want to go home. <laughs> what? I don't want to go home. Oh, oh, Phyllis, she doesn't mean that. As soon as you get her home, she's going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't force her, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> We encourage her independence. If this is where she wants to be, this is where you want to be, is it, Beth? Uh, but Phyllis... No, 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 Mary, you don't understand. If Beth wants this, this is what you want, Beth. Well, it's obviously her wish to stay here, so... Uh, it, it... Be a card for Ted. They're called cue cards, Lou. <laughs> I don't know why everyone feels compelled to call cue cards idiot cards. We just have trouble thinking of you as a cue. Yeah. <laughs> Mary! Mary! Have I got an appointment with you? Uh, what are you doing there? I'm waiting. We're all waiting, kid. <laughs> Did you forget that lead on the uh, diet pills? Yeah, I got it. All right. I have an idea for you while you're waiting. Why don't you draw a picture? I can't draw anything but flowers. Well, then draw flowers. I'm so tired of drawing flowers. I've been drawing them since I was four. Ah, well, then look, a horse is easy. Say, Mary, that's a nice horsey. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Mary, where are the idiot cards? Uh, cue cards, Lou, please, cue cards. <laughs> Excuse me, Ted. Mary, would you please give those cue cards to this idiot? 
What's that? A horsey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm waiting for Mary. Oh, you want something to do? Uh-huh. Uh, do you like to recite in school? Yeah. Okay, repeat after me. Nguyen Ban Wan. Nguyen Ban Wan. Nam Pen. Nam Pen. Richard Milhouse Nixon. <laughs> Richard Milhouse Nixon. Good. How'd you like to be the anchor kid? <laughs> <laughs> but for now, why don't you make some notes about the newsroom and write a composition for school, okay? Okay. Good girl. Mary, see if you can do this in five lines or less. What's your name, please? Lou. What do you do here? I'm the boss. Thank you. Mary! How's it going? Fine. Good. Yes, sir. Who's the kid? Oh, well, that's a kind of a long story. Not going to be a long story. I say, who's the kid? You say, Sally Jones. Who's the kid? Bess. That wasn't too long. <laughs> she's the uh, daughter of my downstairs neighbors, but now she's staying with me, and... Uh... You may not have noticed, <clears throat> but I never cuss when there are kids in the newsroom. Yes, I did. I noticed that, and I want you to know I appreciate your watching your language. I don't like to watch my language. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like having kids in the newsroom. I mean... I'd like to cuss right now because that kid's out there. But I can't cuss because that kid's out there. <laughs> Beth? Uh, Beth, what are, you, what are you doing? Mary? Oh. <laughs> Beth forgot this. She likes her milk in it. Oh. <laughs> everything going so far? Don't answer, don't answer. I know everything's going great. Where is she? Well, uh, she's, uh... Locked herself in the bathroom, huh? Uh, well, yes. You said something without looking it up in the book first. Is, it, is that right? Well, yes. Uh, what did you say? Uh, well, I told her I thought the makeup looked awful. And now you're trying to get her out of there. Yes, I it? am. Phyllis, could you help me, please? Of course I'm going to help you. Good. Here, chapter eight, right of privacy. Uh, Beth, I, I respect your right of privacy. I don't mind your locking the door. Uh, r really, I, I don't. And, um, I am always eager to participate in a free and open discussion of whatever it is that's bothering you. <laughs> really? Really, I, I am. <laughs> I'd have to burn your washcloth. It's got gunk all over it. <laughs> I recognize those quotes are right from the books, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, they are. Hey, uh, what do you say we forget the books and talk about what fun we can have tomorrow? How about that? I'm not working and you and I could go shopping. What for? Nothing. You don't have to buy anything when you shop. And that's kind of nice because if you know you're not going to buy anything, then you don't have to wonder whether or not you can afford it. <laughs> the door. Uh, really, I, I don't. And, um, 
I am always eager to participate in a free and open discussion of whatever it is that's bothering you. <laughs> really? Really, I, I am. You might have to burn your washcloth. It's got gunk all over it. <laughs> I recognize those quotes are right from the books, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, they are. Hey, uh, what do you say we forget the books and talk about what fun we can have tomorrow? How about that? I'm not working and you and I could go shopping. What for? Nothing. You don't have to buy anything when you shop. And that's kind of nice because if you know you're not going to buy anything, then you don't have to wonder whether or not you can afford it. <laughs> saving up to put the kid through college. <laughs> In addition to paying for my buffalo. Ah, right, yes, I'll write you a check. I couldn't look at you, knowing how you feel and take money from you. <clears throat> I'll pick it up later. <laughs> I brought Beth a little cabbage soup. No offense, I know you're a wonderful cook and you're feeding her well. Where is she? Uh, she's out buying TV dinners. Well, I just dropped by to see what time you wanted me to babysit tonight. Phyllis, sit down, will you? I was uh, just calling you to tell you that uh, I think everything is kind of crazy around here, and it's going to get even crazier if, if you don't do something. What's your problem, Mary? It's not my problem, Phyllis. It's yours. Yes. Oh, we've been all over that. It's just a phase Bess is in. Phyllis, you know what? I, I think Bess would want to come home if you'd just show her that you miss her. Why don't you come right out and say it, Mary? You think I'm a lousy mother? <sighs> no, I don't, Phyllis. I'll tell you exactly what I think. I think... I... <clears throat> what are you trying to say? I'm trying to think of a nice way to say that I think you're a lousy mother. <laughs> Well, Miss Daughter Snatcher, <laughs> let me tell you something. I have read all the books, and I feel that I, I'm... I, what are you doing wearing my love beads? Oh, Bess made these for me this morning. Can you beat that? She's made you the same beads she made for me. She loves you. 
She wants you to be her mother. Oh, Elvis. <laughs> what is it? Beth. She saw me crying. Oh, well, she'll hate me for being weak. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, Phyllis, listen. Look, you and I have been good friends for a long time, right? Well, not so good as you think. I mean, it's, it's because you come on so darn strong all the time. And, well, I like you so much better when you come on weak. And, and if I feel this way, well, imagine how Bess felt when she saw you just now. Well, why imagine? I'm going to go get her. Uh, Mary? Yeah? Should I keep crying? <laughs> Her mother and father love their best, and Mary likes her. <laughs> well, here we are. Uh, have you had dinner? Yes, Phyllis burned it. Oh, I'm That's sorry. Not. Why? You didn't burn it. Well, no, but it's just that, you know, when you try to fix something and then it doesn't turn out right, it's kind of disappointing. Well, it doesn't bother Phyllis. Uh, do you always call your mother Phyllis? It's her name. <laughs> yeah, I know, but when I was a little girl, I, when I was a, a young person, I, uh, I always called my mother mother. I still do. I mean, I, I never even think of calling her Marge! <laughs> That's what it is. It's Marge. <laughs> Did Phyllis show you these books? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I haven't had a chance to really get into them yet. Yeah, well, I think you ought to. This isn't going particularly well so far, you know. <laughs> no. Uh, you like having the, all that makeup on your face? Yes, do you? I think it, it makes you look awful. Uh, Beth? Uh, Beth, what are, you, what are you doing? Mary? Oh. <laughs> Beth forgot this. She likes her milk in it. Oh. <laughs> How's everything going so far? Don't answer, don't answer. I know everything's going great. Where is she? Well, uh, she's, uh... Locked herself in the bathroom, huh? Uh, well, yes. You said something without looking it up in the book first. Is, it, is that right? Well, yes. Uh, what did you say? Uh, well, I told her I thought the makeup looked awful. And now you're trying to get her out of there. Yes, I it? am. Phyllis, could you help me, please? Of course I'm going to help you. Good. Here, chapter eight, right of privacy. Uh... Beth, I, I respect your right of privacy. I don't mind your locking the door. Uh, r really, I, I don't. And um, I am always eager to participate in a free and open discussion of whatever it is that's bothering you. <laughs> really? Really, I, I am. You might have to burn your washcloth. It's got gunk all over it. I recognize those quotes are right from the books, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, they are. Hey, uh, why do you say we forget the books and talk about what fun we can have tomorrow? How about that? I'm not working and you and I could go shopping. <laughs>